All right, got me and Mr. Bill going out for a ride today. And you may have noticed that Mr. Bill has a new Aero exhaust system. <laughs> Do it again, Mr. Bill. Yeah, you can actually hear his. Mr. Bill, uh, a lot of po folks have been asking how you're doing on your Rocket 3. What's going on with your Rocket 3? So Mr. Bill said he took his throttle bodies back off and he sent them out to get them uh, rechecked. I think he sent uh, two sets out, didn't you, Mr. Bill? So he's got twice the opportunity of getting it right. Mr. Bill is also saying uh, on his crank sensor had a big hunk of stalactite on it and it might have been causing a problem too. Uh, do you know where that big hunk of stalactite came from Mr. Bill? Mr. Bill, it is the crank sensor is magnetic so he thinks it accumulated a whole bunch of little pieces of parts, uh, magnetic pieces. We got a new uh, video out. Uh, it won't be new time you hear this, but um, uh, Roy's RD350. Well, we're talking about one of the, the GT750s we saw at the uh, Suzuki GT750. In fact, it's a 1972. It's kind of a, we call it pink. I don't know what the Suzuki called it. I'm sure it was something a little bit more imaginative than pink. Yeah, they had a kind of a greenish one too. I like the greenish one just a little bit better. But I like both of them. He said the uh, his seals were out on that, but it was a nice looking bike, wasn't it? <laughs> Mr. Bill's uh, questioning whether we could get kettle on a license plate because uh, he likes to have his custom license plate. You notice he's got Tiger Three on it on this one, and he, he, he insists on spending a lot more money. <laughs> It's on. only $25. I'd rather spend my money on the rocket ship, you know. <laughs> if uh, for some of you that follow the, uh, the my channel, know that I we, I built a a little really rocket ship for my uh, space shuttle for my grandchildren I had a 10 year old grandson and a six year old granddaughter and they're always wanting to play rocket ships so I built one and I'm not very good at it and uh, but I, I went ahead and spent about three weeks building one putting all kinds of little stuff inside you know so they can play and turn knobs and you know and dials and have stuff that works and you know lights that light up and things like that so we just finished the, I uh, had a video up on, on, on part of that, it was almost finished, and uh, I just pretty much got it all finished now, got it painted um, on the outside, we're not painting on the inside because I got too much junk in there, and um, I think the only thing I got to do is add their names to it, and other than that, we're pretty much done. And. Uh, of course, I've used pieces and parts from my cars and motorcycles over the years to, to be things. I've even used a piece of my electric gear to be a switch. <laughs> but uh, they have fun fun with it. And uh, I've, I'm doing a little bit of uh, programming so I can, on the computer, I can run the, they can run their missions. I can give them missions on the computer too so I can give them pictures and stuff like that. But you know the uh, videos, the video with uh, Rapid Roy's, I just released it last night. And a lot of people, the, that kind of brings them back to the, you know, I'm surprised how many older riders are out there that remember the, you know, the two strokes and stuff like that. Because, you know, the two strokes hadn't been available in the United States since what, 86, 87, something like that? Well, at least for street bikes anyway. So. Uh, but a lot of people have RDs and uh, uh, Bandit Man UK. I think he had a 250. It was a, I think they had a RDLC or something like that, or RLC. It's a little bit different nomenclature than what we have. And yeah, yeah. 
All right, let's uh, when you get out there, why don't you run your bike up a little bit so we, the folks can hear your new aero exhaust system? <laughs> well, I'll try. I'm ready. How's happening? No, slow down, Mr. Bill. I don't know. Maybe a thing hurt your area. <laughs> so, for the folks watching, um, I'm switching uh, tires maybe a little bit early on the Tiger, and also I, I did it on my BMW. I put some uh, Michelin Road 6s on there on the BMW just the, uh, about two or three days ago. And ha haven't, oh, a little wide. I haven't had a chance to try them out yet. And I'm gonna put some road sixes on this because I wanna make sure <laughs> the tires need to last a lot longer than what they have been. Then, if all the, everything is just good, I'm gonna put them on the, uh, my Jim Danny, my uh, Frexton R. We'll see, but they're pretty expensive though. I mean, pretty expensive and uh, I just want to have it done because there is so much uncertainty of uh, every time I wait until the last minute to do something something else comes up to screw it up so I've gotten to the habit of doing stuff a little early because inevitably emergency comes up you know you're gonna be out of town they can't do it they can't get the tire, you know. Especially the Road 6s, they're brand new tires. Uh, they replaced the Road 5s. And uh, they just became available, I think, in like January. I've talked about Bandit Man UK before on the, on the, on the channel. And he's, uh, they were out uh, on the island. Uh, and he and his wife were riding. And I think they were riding, uh, motorcycles for hire and she was riding a 750 BMW and he was riding a 500 Honda and it's a, just a beautiful island it's off off the coast of Spain and uh, but some of the places where they're riding and you you certainly would not want to fall off <laughs> yeah I think I forgot the name of started with the M Madeira or something like that I'll put no, I don't think it was Mallorca. But it's a small, it's a beautiful island. They were riding. And they were they were doing some hiking and stuff like that. And I noticed in the last video, his wife was carrying this great big rucksack, orange rucksack. And I said, well, maybe he's carrying one too. And I look, look at what he's carrying. He's carrying a little old <laughs> bitty, bitty blue one, you know. <laughs> I said, man, she's doing the navigate and she's carrying all the load. <laughs> uh, I was watching another video of bikes I like, and he was talking about the boots, you know. He's had several sets of boots, and they've got the primary closure method on the boots is Velcro. And, uh, you know, he's complaining, you know, right from the sole that after a while, the Velcro, you know, the hooks just, they get dirty, they get stuffed, and they just don't work. And pretty soon you're riding and your boots are all floppy. So if you ever fell off the bike, your 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 boots are coming off, you know. And I, I told him, I said, man, I really love these Bates boots. Uh, I got these in 2013. And, and now I have a little Velcro strip at the top, but it's just to kind of cover up the, uh, the zipper. Because they zip all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah. This it just does that to keep it from fla that from flapping. It doesn't hold the boots on. The zipper does that. And man, these boots were from the day I put them on. They've been the most comfortable boots. You can walk in them. You can ride in them. You know, I race in them, and I really like them. And I think I only paid when I bought them in 2013. I think I only paid like a little over $200 for them. I, I looked online after I told him I recommended these. I think they were like. Between 330 and 450 now for the same boots, but they custom make them for you. You know, they show you how to measure your foot and all all that stuff.
got busy flapping my gums and didn't notice how long this video is going. So we talked about a couple more other things out and uh, some nice YouTube videos. One by Revzilla, our sport touring bikes, faster than sport bikes. And then, of course, uh, Yami Noob have one on do you really need a 600cc sport bike? And they had a Ninja 6, 6 and comparing it to a Triumph uh, RS, which we had a big discussion on. That's a good, that was a good video. So thanks for coming along on the ride today. I uh, hope it's not too long for you. <clears throat> join, join us next time. This is Flat Cap Cafe Racer. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.